Good evening, Off the Bench Sports family. We are here on location at an alternative site, but we're here. Grateful to be here. Um, joining us is uh man, I could say, I could really say so many things about this dude, and all of them will be true. But at, at the end of the day, he is a wonderful, God-fearing, God-loving, basketball-loving man who gives 100% of himself to the things that he's attached to and involved with. Please welcome East St. John head boys basketball coach, Antonio Broadway Sr. What's up, my guy? Man, I don't know, man. It's it's uh I'm 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 you know, I always leave all my expressions and feelings in these interviews, man, and uh I could be a lot of places right now, but this is where I'm supposed to be. Um and so I'm enjoying this moment and I always learn way more from you than I think I learned because you you're you're so peaceful and calm in in the things you do that it, it it reminds me so much of who I'm trying to become in, in my place and space of peace. So um you know again you and a, a few other coaches that I have associated myself with, you know, you guys give me so much peace, man, because y'all, y'all demeanor is just so peaceful. Uh, when, when I think about, we, we fussed one time. It was about, let me see, it's, it's January now. Uh, I think it was in, in, in August, the beginning of August, we fussed. And we we don't keep this straight up, bro. I fussed at him, y'all, because I said, man, I'd take that never job and be closer to my mama and wouldn't even think about it. And so we're going to go from there. Why'd you stay at East St. John, man? Uh, it was timing. Timing was everything. The timing was everything for me. Uh, I knew, you know, I hadn't stayed up north for about 18 years. I knew I had a very, very good group coming back. So... Uh, it just wasn't the time at the, at the time, you know. I, I moved on on God's plan, so it just it felt right. But something in me was like, you, you need to just just sit it back a while. And I talked to God, I talked to my mom, and, and that's why I stayed at the. That's why I'm here now. Man, I you know uh, again, and that's just me. That's just the selfishness to me, I guess, and not having my mom for thirty years, man. Like it's I'm I'm I said this a long time ago, man. I'm jealous of people that still got their mom, so I'm always cheer for that, man. Right. But when you know after we talked right. and, and we had a real life conversation about it, because you know. Uh, I look at you and as a little brother, you you look at me as a big brother. And so I was I was like, okay, after we finished the conversation and then I saw the work that you put in, I said, the E is the place he's supposed to be. Uh, so when, when you think about the, the process of transferring things from the summer to the fall, um, how, how was that grind for you guys? Uh, we, we just really, really stay consistent. Uh, and that's one of my biggest words, just really, really just staying consistent in what we do. Uh, even, you know, like the, the summer workouts, even uh, individual workouts, we just always just try to be consistent at everything we do. Because, I mean, I'm, I like to be consistent in what I do, and I like my players to be consistent in what they do. So a lot of the work from the summer, it carried over to the fall, and it's, it's continuing to carry on now as we, as we continue to turn the corner with this basketball deal. Right, you always. I I, I remember um, in some of your pre preseason games, you you didn't have your whole team, right. and you you lost a couple, and and you took it in stride. Right. And, 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 and in your mind, though, I I, I felt the, the spirit saying, "Oh, just wait till I get everybody. I'm coming for y'all." How how hard is that going through that process? Uh, it's it's not hard at all. It's one of those things that that, that keeps you humble for one. Uh, and it gives, gives you a chance to see what you got, you know, those younger guys, see what they can do. You put them out there in that water, get them battle tested early. So uh, the biggest thing for me just, you know, just it makes me work hard. I, I never like my job to be easy. So it brings out that, that grit, that grit in me, that determination in me to like, you know, hey, we, we going to make it work. Regardless of what it is, what it looks like, we're going to make it work. When, when you look at 
your words, determination. Yeah. Um, you're you're all in, mm-hmm. in in the way you prepare right. to prepare your kids. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I I saw that work ethic in a good friend of yours, uh, Bear Whittington. Right. He was the same type of man, same type of coach. Mm-hmm. Um, he prepared to prepare. Right. Uh, what what's that game plan like for you on a daily basis in making sure that your kids are ready to, and prepared to go? Uh, basically, like uh, if we're playing uh, at least two or three games a week, I'm already got a hit on film. Uh, that's one thing I do. I do hear about three films on the team. Uh, I never know. I never not go and not watch a film. I have to know what's going on. I'm gonna prepare like I'm preparing. I don't prepare for number one team in the state. I'm gonna prepare just like I prepare for the back. And I'm over prepared sometimes. Sometimes I think I over prepare. I like to be ready. No right. When, when we, we, we've had a lot of conversations, and sometimes you tell your kids in games that they think are impossible, mm-hmm. that we're okay, we're going to be fine. Right. And even though it's a close game at the end, you guys come out with a win. Right. Uh, is, it, is there any reluctancy in being sure, confident, and not from a place of overconfidence or immaturity? Uh, the biggest thing I we always tell, like I've been using this for the last four years, and one word is believe. All right, uh, you gotta believe it's gonna happen. Like you gotta stay poised, cause poised people win. At the end of the day, uh, we're going through adversity. You gotta remain poised, cause if you show another team that you're not poised, they can take advantage of you. So I think my biggest word is believe, and I that's right. all I. That's just me. Um, I think it was quarterfinals, and then you've had a couple of second round exits. Right. Um. How do you get over the hump? Uh, get over the hump, you know, we just gotta stay consistent. Yes, you know, we can't we can't crack when it comes to, you know, when we get down the road and you know, we used to playing on the road that you went to the quarterfinals and played every game on the road. So with the biggest thing with us, man, we gotta be hungry. We gotta stay humble and we gotta be humble and hungry at the same time. So getting over that hump is, you know, preparing us like the big games we played this season, like uh, teams like St. Paul, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, uh, Calvary Baptist. I think those teams that's, that's really, really prepared us. Uh, and we're, we're ready for the challenge. We're, we're ready. So. This is one of your favorite parts of the season, district. Yeah. Uh, you, you're you only four years into the Red River District, but you've made some friends from the coaches that you compete against. Uh, how how's those relationships still flourishing? But you go out and compete like uh, I don't know you. It's, it's battle time. Like, is it hard to separate the friendships and relationships that you guys are building uh, in in competition? Uh, it's not hard, you know. I mean, I can remember when uh, when my good friend Coach Jasmine, who's in Atlanta, but it's in Georgia now. I mean. When we get ready to play each other, we probably won't say nothing to each other that week. Uh, we're good, but that, that week, no, we we talk to each other. You, no, you know my friend this week. So that's how I look at that. So I just keep it like that. So. When, when you look at the progression, um, again, slow start to this basketball season, uh, but you guys picked it up again. Uh, a really, really big win against Calvary. Uh, really big win against Franklin Parish. Um, tough loss uh, against Rabel, and you, you're you, you know you're right here right now. And I think you're on the upside of the district record. Um, what what space and place are you trying to get to as a finished outcome in the district? Uh, just just keep grinding, really. Uh, you know those early losses came from uh, really really inexperienced games because we started we never started our season like December first week of December so. I knew it was going to be tough coming in to get let those guys get settled in. So once we got settled in, they got confident with each other. Uh, we speak about unity. Once they started playing with each other, uh, you know, they, they, they really they really got together. One of my favorite quotes by, quotes by Coach K, he always used to say analysis is uh, you got five fingers. Five fingers on your hand. So when you ball up, it makes a fist. You need all those fish, you need all those fingers to make one. So our biggest thing is play together. You know, we were having a great conversation. No, I'm just saying, man, yeah, like... I know, I know. Yeah, why would you do that to me then and break my heart? Hey, it's all good. It's all love. He's a dookie, y'all. Yeah, I'm a dookie. I'm, I'm a tar here. <laughs> it's all love. But yeah, it's love, man. Hey, um, tonight, 
uh, always a tough opponent because he's a prepared coach. How, how do you guys come in and figure out a game plan to get a win tonight? Uh, you know, stick to the game plan. And, you know, Tico's always tough, especially coming out here to play. Uh, going against a great veteran coach, as, as Coach Clark, uh, it's, it's a little bit tough. So we'll be prepared. Uh, where, where do you want to be? What, what's the best number for you guys in the rankings to get, it, 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 if not over the hump, at least get back to the quarters, uh, and and that that shows progress because last year was the second round. Twelve, twelve and five are good, good places to start the playoff set, and, and so I wish you all the success. And I, I never say luck because if if you need luck, why prepare? So, you know, again, Coach, have a great game. Have a great rest of the season. Um, it's always fun talking to you, man. <laughs> like, we, we're, we're going to go laugh about something. You're going to get on me about something. I said I knew it, but I know it's going to come from a place of love. Um, and, and thank you, man, again, for thank taking you. a moment with Off the Bench Sports. Remember, get off the bench, get into the game.